Baxter, Axter, read all about it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Let's see that be printed in the newspapers of America. The greatest news, the greatest thing that Jesus Christ arose from the grave. Jesus Christ, the man of all men, God in the flesh, Jesus Christ, 100% man, 100% God, suffered and died that you may have eternal life. It is so good to see the, a present with a newspaper when we talk about a man called Superman. Nobody can beat Superman. And yet, he's a fictional creature. He's an imagination of artists. There is no Superman, but there is a Jesus Christ. You'll not see Superman come and, and save us, but you have seen Jesus Christ come, and He's able to save your soul. This country is fascinated with preachers and people of cartoons, of pen, of ink, and coloring. And yet they will not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You think that a guy is going to come down and be like a spider? I'll tell you, God came down and became our Savior. You believe in a woman who's got ultimate powers and all that, and you're fascinated by her, but you're not fascinated with the man, Christ Jesus. Pilate said before Jesus, Behold the man. People, you got to get out of your cartoons. you got to get out of, of all the messiness of Hollywood and the movies today and turn to the Bible, Jesus Christ, for that's able to save you. And I wouldn't believe half the movies, if not all the movies, that come out about the Bible. Because they're not based upon the Bible. When you teach a story about Noah, it has nothing to do with the Bible written about no it's a lie Hollywood will lie to you the country will lie to you Donald Trump cannot do what Jesus Christ has already done for you the truth is in Jesus Christ Jesus said I'm the way the truth and the life something written and drawn on paper cannot do anything for your soul you will believe in a superhero upon comics but you will not believe the Word of God. You will not put your faith and trust in what God has given us, what God has written to us. Yeah, man wrote the Bible with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Yet the nonsense that's put in the bookstores today is written by man, but without no inspiration, but of Satan himself. Satan wants to get your eyes off God and Jesus Christ. The greatest picture that people will have against God is a presidential face on a green paper. The love of money is the root to all evil. Now it's funny because I said the love of money. The world will have you to think that money is the root to all evil, and yet that's a misquote from the Bible. The love of money. Why not the love of God that He sent His Son? Because you are a sinner for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. You may come up and proclaim, well, I'm good. In the eyes of God, you are not good. You may think you're good, but you're not righteous. None of us are righteous. There's only one righteous one. There's only one way for righteousness. That's through Jesus Christ. God manifested in the flesh. Born of a virgin. Of the tribe of Judah. Suffered and died and that you may have eternal life. I'm here to give you a commercial while you're shopping at the farmer's market to tell you an important commercial. That Jesus Christ died for your sins. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm not here to give you any false words. I am giving you the Bible, the King James 611 Bible that me says, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You must be born again. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I don't believe.
proclaim man, I don't proclaim church, I don't pro proclaim baptism, I don't proclaim religion, I proclaim Jesus Christ as the Savior. You know, isn't Jesus Christ religion? Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh out to the Father but by Him. Sinner, you need to proclaim that you are going to die one day. And when you die, you are not the end of all things. There is an afterlife proclaimed by the Bible that there is a heaven and there is a hell. And not everybody is going to go to heaven. You don't want your enemies to go to heaven. Because when you proclaim your goodness, what is your definition of goodness is what, how good you are in relation to judging others. is coming, and before you die, you need to settle your account with God by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world. No superhero can do that. They're not even real. They are imaginary, and yet Jesus Christ is real. Jesus Christ, according to the Gospels, suffered and died according to the Scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to Scriptures. He was settled in hell, our sin death. If you do not want to put your accountability in the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world, you will deposit your own sins in hell for all eternity. You will suffer and die and be in hell for your sins because you have not placed them on Jesus Christ, His Son. You can have Jesus Christ pay for your sins, or you can pay for your own sins. But when you die, you will suffer, and you will burn, you will be in torment, in a lake of fire that burneth forever and forever. And if you don't believe in that, you have problems with God, because God said it was so. That loving God is a holy God. That holy God cannot stand and allow sin in His presence. That holy, righteous God that cannot allow sin has sent His Son in love. For God so loved the world that He has given you opportunity to be in His presence by His Son, Jesus Christ. Minus any church. Minus any baptism. Outside of religion. Jesus saves and Jesus alone saves. What you do with Jesus has to be done before you die. And at death, it's done. You don't come back. There is no reset button. There's no capturing crowns and gold or whatever you do in your favorite video game. Once you die, you die. And if you die without Jesus Christ, you will enter into a devil's hell that was never designed for man, but you will go there as a sinner, rejecting Jesus Christ as your sin offering. If you can get yourself into heaven, i got a question for you. Why did Jesus suffer and die and come out of that grave? And what other person came out of the grave outside of Jesus Christ? No, you didn't. God needs a blood atonement for sins, and your blood is laced with sin. Your blood is laced with chemicals. Your blood is laced with death. Your blood is not 
suitable for God but the blood of the Lamb which take away the sin of the world. That is God approved. That's the sweet savor of God. That is the sacrifice that God will take to get a man into heaven by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. No pope can do it. No killing Christians can do it. No denying God will do it. But the blood of Jesus Christ will do it. Mary had a little lamb, and his fleece was, his fleece was white as snow, and in her arms she held God. 100%, 100% man, 100% God, she held in her arms Jesus Christ, that little baby we all love. And that baby grew up, and that baby went to the cross for our sins. That baby was a bruise. That baby was beaten. That baby took all kinds of punishment of man and his sins and nailed it to the cross. And you stand there and think that what you can do is going to please God what He has done on that cross. You are a fool. When you say, I will trust anything but Jesus Christ, you are proclaiming that Jesus Christ and His sacrifice is no good. That man is a sinner, we're better than God's Son. You better deny it. You better put the fact in. You, when you deny Jesus Christ, whatever you think is above Jesus Christ. I wouldn't want to stand in your shoes. When you tell God, I am much better than your Son and sacrifice. As God will laugh, Proverbs chapter 1, and He passes you off into hell. Because you don't have the Son. Men are in hell today because they rejected Jesus Christ as their Savior. You don't come to God with Mary. Mary can't do nothing. Mary came to God through Jesus Christ, her Son. The Apostle Paul came to Jesus Christ. Peter, James, and John, and Andrew, and all of them came to Jesus Christ for salvation. Cornelius came to Jesus Christ. Not one person I see in the Bible ever killed anybody, and a result on upon religion ever got saved, but entered into hell. The rich man, with all his grace, with all his wealth, with everything that he had, is tormented in hell today with all the money he cannot take with him. And in hell, he's still old. Can I just have a little drop of water to cool my tongue? And in hell, you do not lose your attitude. You still think of me, 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 me. And you'll still deny God. You'll still deny Jesus in your torment, in your misery, without mercy, without grace. You will suffer and torment forever without Jesus Christ. And ladies and gentlemen, and in between, the party has been canceled due to the fire. The alcohol will burn up because alcohol burns in fire. You've got to realize when you die, you cannot take a U-Haul. When you die, you die in your nakedness. You die as what you are. No clothes. Nothing can be taken with you to the grave. But there's one thing you can take with you to the grave. The blood of Jesus Christ will still save your soul. Nothing else. And for those that are saved, there's one other thing you can take with you after you die. Other souls that got saved because of your ministry, because of your work. Lifting up other Christians. But as far as the lost, when you die and face God, you're going to be as you were born. Without clothes, without mercy, without grace. Not every child born like the Americans born. They're suffering, they they got miseries in third world nations. You need, no, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. 
God in His free will says, I'll give, let you get the choice. And since God has given you a choice, and since churches today and television and radio will not preach the truth, God says to the Christians, go out and preach the gospel to them that they might hear. That their hearts may turn to Jesus Christ by a seed that planted. And what is that seed? The Word of God. And what is the Word of God? All have sinned. So the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. There is none that do it good. No, not one. There is none righteous. So roll out anything human means to get to God. That's the Gospel. That's in the Bible. And if you are not trusting in Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell forever. Don't come to me with your popes. Don't come to me with your, your priests, your priestettes, your priesters, and whoever else is out there. Don't come to me but with anything but Jesus Christ. You see, religion is man-made followed by Satan. But Jesus Christ is God approved. And as you're going about your business at the Daytona Beach Farmer's Market, go about your business, but you are hearing the gospel of God, and you are without excuse when you stand before God without Jesus Christ. And you'll say, I never knew. And God says, I sent a loud mouth preacher to tell you that my son says, he said, Jesus says, and only Jesus says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Have you got it straight? There's no other way to heaven outside Jesus Christ. But you are bringing your children up in this world of comic strip heroes. You are giving them a false delusion. You are giving them a lie that these creatures on pencil and on paper are able to save all people, but they cannot save your soul. And they are a lie. And the father of lies, John 8:44, is Satan. It's amazing what man will believe, but he won't believe on Jesus. Man will pick up that morning, that morning newspaper and believe everything on that paper. Fake news. And yet, you know, they'll take the Bible and say, Oh, that's written by man. That's not true. That's someone's thing in the man to That's your personal opinion. But that's the Word of God! And God has held Himself to the Word that He's spoken. And the Word is spoken, if you do not believe on Jesus, I'm going to cast you into hell. God said it, He's going to do it. What's well, your interpretation? No, it's no interpretation at all. It's what God said. America, if you want to get right, you got to get back to that book. The King James 1611 book. you got to get back to God. you got to get back to Jesus Christ. you got to get off the lie called evolution. you got to get off the lie of Catholicism and Protestantism and Baptism and every ism and, and scientific thing. you got to get back to God because it's only going to get worse. Jesus said that judgment must first begin at the house of God. You just had a church shot up with a bunch of people dead. It's only be just begun if you don't get back to God. It's only going to get worse. And the Bible tells us that there are seven years of great tribulation. It'll get far worse. Because you will not get to the Bible. You will not turn to Jesus Christ. And God will not bless you. How can God bless America when it has nothing to do with God? It has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. No way will God bless her anymore. God will not bless someone who rejects Jesus Christ. And God does not love you outside Jesus Christ. It said, for God so loved 
That's past tense. I know they probably don't teach that in schools anymore. You're too busy sitting on your desk with your legs crossed and mooing and all into a God that's fallen. But the Bible proclaims, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible singles out everything but Jesus Christ. And God says in the book of Mark, the Gospel of Mark chapter 16, Go ye all the world and preach that Gospel. Find me a Bible verse about purgatory. You can't find it. It's not there. Tell me in the Bible where you're supposed to kill Christians. It ain't in there. Tell me in the Bible about evolution. It's never there but Romans chapter 1, and it's mentioned as a sin, as God giving a man reprobate mind about that mess. The account will be settled only by the blood of Jesus Christ. If the account is not settled by Jesus Christ, you will be reckoning your own price upon the day of reckoning upon the lake of fire that burneth forever. You see, there's a book of life, people. And your name needs to be in that book to be saved. And that name, your name, is only placed in that book by your faith and belief in your heart in Jesus Christ. If you love Jesus. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to give up because the guy blew his horn. I'm going to preach louder and more because Jesus is worthy. The old cars are gone and by. The arts are all gone and by. NASCAR is packed up and gone and by. But Jesus liveth and reigns forever. And you need to believe on Him to be saved, and only Him. Every page, every word is upon Jesus Christ. That's what God cares about. That's what God has on His heart, His Son, Jesus Christ. And so much the fact is, without Jesus Christ, you don't have life. John the Baptist says you have the wrath of God. You get either eternal life by Jesus or you get the wrath of God by whatever and whoever and whatever and any other and all other others. And Satan will give you anything and everything and all things but Jesus. And we stand here preaching Jesus because He is the way, the truth, and the life. And you're not going to access the Father without Him. You're not secure if you die without Jesus Christ. I have Him in my heart. Amen. You may have life insurance. But without Jesus, you ain't got death insurance. Imagine calling life insurance when you die. They don't even have that correct. There's a death insurance. It's already been titled. You cannot use death insurance because it's been titled to Jesus Christ upon the finished work of the cross. Uh, insurance, death insurance, paid by the blood of God, Acts 20:28. 20, there is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that name, if you check out Acts chapter 4, is Jesus Christ. There is no room in heaven for religious names and titles. The Bible says in Revelation we will glorify the Lamb, capital L. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. And in hell there's no glorifying, there's no gratification in hell. But torment. You better believe I'm excited about Jesus. You better believe I'll raise my name. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not afraid to lift up my voice for Jesus. That's the name. That's the one that saved my soul. 
That's the one that gives me love, peace, joy, long-suffering, patience. And that's the one when I sin with patience, the lack of. That's the one if I confess, He's able and just to forgive me for my sin and wash me away. God says, let us come together, let us meet together, let us. Isaiah 1, 13, let us come together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You ever see snow when it's not been touched by man? Snow gets dirty when man touches it. And the salvation of God gets filthy when man touches it. When man says, hey, let's add a little this, let's add a little that, let's put a little this and little that, and we'll call it religion, and God says, no deal. Because when Jesus died on that cross, He said, it is finished. No additives needed. No preservatives they needed. Only the blood of Jesus Christ will preserve your soul. And if you add anything else to the gospel, that Jesus died for our sins, was buried, and arose again according to the Scriptures, if you add anything else to that, you have soiled salvation. You have a scientific meal with ingredients you can't read and don't understand what they are. But when you have true salvation, the ingredient is God the Father Almighty, Jesus Christ the Son, the Holy Spirit, the three in one, dying upon that cross. Because of the Scriptures. And being buried. And are blazing from the grave the third day, the third night, according to the Scriptures. That's it. Nothing else added. Put a little mass in it and you ain't got salvation. Put, oh, I belong to this church. It's not salvation no more. Oh, I'm a good person. That ain't salvation no more. You have polluted the offering. The offering in Acts 20:28 20, is God's blood and nothing but God's blood, but Jesus said, I it is finished. And man and Satan steps in and says, no, I've got to add some more. I've got to add religion. And God says, I won't approve it. I will not take it. Jesus said, as far as it's finished, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me, the true and everlasting preservative, Jesus Christ, which suffered and died for our souls. That's it. That is the only way. I have not preached about money. You don't know who I am. You don't know where I go to church. But I have lifted up Jesus. The only name. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is Jesus Christ. You will not get this kind of preaching on the radio or television. And it's dying in the churches. America has lost her fear of God. And I don't know if she can get it back. She has lost fear totally. When I grew up as a young adult, it used to be bumper stickers, no fear. Well, that began to be the condemnation of America. And you're getting retaliation from people who don't get their way. I'll tell you what that's called. It's dog eat dog, and that comes from the teaching of evolution. Evolution is the reason why America is where she is today. It ain't God. Don't blame God. And don't put Him in the place because you took God out. You rejected Jesus Christ. Don't you dare blame God for what's going on in America today. It's your own fault. 
You go to the White House today, you say to the White House, let's get back to God in the Bible. I guarantee they'll laugh at you. If you can't get the nation leaders to get back to God, the country ain't going back to God. I have not heard that man once proclaim Jesus Christ as his Savior. And you Christians are falling for it. You've already lost the battle. Get on the field and preach the gospel. Preach the word of God. Preach Jesus. Get off the guns. Get on Jesus. God has laid everything on Jesus' hands. Our souls. All judgment. Because He went to that cross faithful. He went to the cross by the Father's will. He went to the cross and suffered and died and was buried and arose again. I'll tell you why or how your human being cannot be the way of God. Because if they died already, they're still in the grave somewhere. They're still dead. Well, Jesus beat him. He rose from the dead the third day. If they're going to die, if they had not died already, they're going to be still in the grave. They're going to be still dead because only Jesus rose from the grave. And they're not sent by God. Men today and women today are sent by a relationship with a man and a woman coming together. You know how Jesus Christ was sent? A virgin. Outside the realm of sex, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, sent by God. No one can do that today. And you say test tube, you still need man in the equation. Or robots. And with that equation, you're not having God the Father in it. But for have a woman be pregnant and give birth without ever having any means with a man, the virgin birth, the virgin birth of Jesus Christ is of God the Father and no other. Your preacher has not been virgin born. Your priest has not been virgin born. Your Allah has not been virgin born. Praise God and lift up the voice of Jesus. That shows that your men, your women are not of God. Because God sent Jesus in a miraculous way at that virgin birth. Glorify God. I'll, I'll tell you another way that we can assume Jesus from the world of men and women. Of all the peoples in their gatherings and their families and their tribes. Jesus Christ, not only born of a woman that was a virgin, the virgin birth, but she was born of, well, he was born of the tribe of Judah. One of the twelve tribes that's been prescribed by prophecy in the Bible that Jesus saves through Jesus being of the tribe of Judah, book of Revelation. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Now, if your person that you are believing and trusting on, if they are not from Judah, you're not saved. So you've got to have a man that's been virgin born. You've got to have a man that is of Judah to have the Messiah, the Savior of the world. And the Savior of the world is Jesus Christ. God the Father, God the Son, all glorified in one. For there's salvation in no other. For only Jesus saves, and Jesus alone. And glory to God and the Father through Jesus Christ, our Son, His Son. And we 
we tell you that lift up your voice and proclaim the sins, the iniquity of the people. Only by Jesus Christ are you saved. Only. It's the reason why. It's the only why. It's the only way to get to God the Father through Jesus Christ. There is no other way. You've got to have someone who's been virgin born. You've got to have someone who's been of the tribe of Judah. And that fits Jesus Christ. You've got to have one that is sinless. Without sin. But the Bible says about man, all have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. There is none that doeth good. So that will rule out your man or woman worship. Whether he be a doctor, whether he be a DD or PhD or any other D, he cannot save you unless he is sinless and he is not sinless. So Jesus Christ sent by God of the virgin birth of the tribe of Judah and completely sinless without sin, and the Roman government proclaimed, I find no fault in him. Herod, I find no fault in him. And yet he suffered and died being innocent. He suffered and died that we might have eternal life. For there is no other life outside of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, go ye to the world and preach the gospel. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and proclaim to my people their iniquity. We are authorized by God to preach Jesus Christ and nothing and no one and anything else but Jesus. And the finished work of Jesus upon that cross. That if you want to have any hope at all, after you die to get to heaven and God, the only hope you have is the blessed hope, Titus 2.13, that Jesus Christ saves in Jesus Christ alone. You cannot come to God with a Pope. You cannot come to God by Allah. You can't come to God by Mary. You can't come to God as an American. You can't come to God and say, I'm good, when God says there is none that do it good. No, not one. How can you proclaim to God?